It's an exhibit dedicated to just really one book called The Orchid Album. It was a book that was essentially a set of books that was produced over a 15-year period in the 1880s and 1890s. Uh, 11 volumes altogether, 10 of which are on exhibit. Each of the volumes contains literally hundreds of beautiful color lithographic illustrations. There was a huge interest in orchids in the 19th century. There's still a huge interest in orchids today, and they were highly sought after by a number of collectors in England. This uh, work was created to sort of whet the appetite of collectors of orchids in England for new varieties of orchids that were coming from the tropics. Orchids were exploited in the 19th century. There were literally were collectors in these books, described collectors, who went into the tropics and literally destroyed microenvironments, destroyed uh, the habitats of many of these orchids in the act of collecting them. Exploitation of orchids and endangered plants and animals still is a problem today. Uh, we have things like the sites list, which is a list of uh, plants and animals that there are prohibitions against their trade and, and collection. The sites list, of course, doesn't prevent this, but certainly reduces this because of the penalties. In the 19th century, that was not a problem. People just went in, denuded mountainsides to collect these orchids. Orchids themselves are very interesting. There are 22,000 species of orchids. We um, now know that uh, there are probably, uh, probably several thousand more orchid species we don't know about. Um, these books are, were valuable at the time that they were printed in the 1880s and 1890s to orchid collectors. The descriptions in the books are very important because they talk about where these orchids come from. So here's a description of an orchid, and in the description of it talks about how it comes from uh, mountains in Java found at uh, the elevation of 4,000 to 5,000 feet. It describes when the orchid blooms um, and provides uh, some information about how one can acquire this orchid. It talks about the prices that this particular orchid uh, has gone for in the marketplace in the 1880s and 1890s. These books are also important because they help us uh, understand some of the big problems that were being solved about orchids in the 19th century. It was not well understood how orchids reproduced. And Charles Darwin, who helped uh, solve part of this problem by um, describing how orchids probably evolved in combination with a variety of different animals to allow pollination to occur. Darwin predicted, actually, with one particular orchid is that it gave off a certain kind of scent that would attract a certain kind of moth at night to come to the orchid to, to uh, pollinate this orchid. And it wound up uh, being true that he actually had predicted this. Uh, the books are valuable as well because of these plates. These, this uh, set of uh, books is often chopped up for these plates and the plates are sold separately. So to have a complete set of this work is really quite outstanding, quite a wonderful part of our collection.